What's up, 2G Gaming Chat? It's Dynamite, FS Dynamite, back to commentate another week of hat. Hollywood Action Tuesdays, getting right into it. We got Logarth here with a stock lead on Visel. Visel, I don't know how you pronounce the stock. I'm going to say Visel. And now that smash art, so powerful, is going to make it a 3-1 to one stock lead here for Logarth. Both of these players, I've seen these are hat regulars. Visel I've played against quite a bit. Logarth I don't think I've ever played against, actually. But they're very familiar faces around here. Both of them with the great drive to improve at the game. But here we are. That's going to be an SD, actually, coming up for Logarth. Jump part not quite getting him the distance he wants. I was thinking Visel might have bit the bullet there, but he lives another day. How far can he take this deficit before it is curtains for him? Smash Art now, so dangerous. Approaching Smash Art Shulk, he kind of has to. He's at such a deficit. And suddenly we have Logarth at 79%. The counter not hitting its mark. Oh, but that's going to be it. Not quite enough distance in that recovery there. And Logarth with a two-stock to take game one. I did not see how the game started, but from what I can tell, I think the range that Logarth had on his sword with Shulk was just very hard for Visel to contest with just doing such a great job stuffing out Visel's approaches with that giant Monado range and then switching the smash art at all the crucial moments to seal the stock. And f the little of that match I saw, I also noticed Logarth utilized his jump art very well, just using it to get out of tough situations, recover from long distances, and overall just maneuvering around with not much Visel was able to do to counter it. We're seeing Visel counter picking the Kalos now. I can see why this would be good, because he does have a lot more lateral space to work with, which will allow his lasers to be more effective, which I don't think I really saw many lasers when I was looking at game one. But I can imagine that would be a great strategy for him to utilize here against the Shulk. And also just having more room to maneuver around the Monado and getting those approaches and confirms that he needs to rack up some damage. All right, so going into game three here, we see Logarth getting some good hits and Visel off stage already, managing to get back though. We have Logarth and Buster Monado. Let's see how much mileage he can get out of that. Or is he just gonna be on the receiving end of all the damage? All right, so. Visel sneaking in a dash attack at the last second while Shulk was in Buster, getting that nice damage off. Amazing single hit up air conversion. That was so sick. Um, is Wolf going to be able to make this? No. I feel like that was possible to make, but Visel just barely missed the mark, and that is going to cost him his first stock in this game too. I think what we're going to want to see from Visel here is just slowing things down a little bit. He just seems to be rushing in maybe a little too much and it's costing him in these crucial situations but now he's in a pretty good spot. How long can he make that last? Shield art, I don't feel like that's going to be too threatening and Logarth realizing that, switching to Buster. This could be very critical here for Logarth to extend this lead further but not really getting much of anything out of it. Unfortunately for him, but very fortunately for Visel. Goes for the forward smash, just barely getting stuffed out by Shulk's forward air. Is that gonna be the stock? No, such a smart high recovery. I love that coming out from Visel. Visel is playing a pretty solid neutral overall. He's just getting a little flustered in the situations where it matters the most. He's been getting hit by a couple of these aggressive air slash recoveries from Logarth and now Logarth is going to have access to shield Monado here so it's going to be very hard for Visel, excuse me, to seal this stock but if he picks his spots correctly it can happen. Oh, that should be it. Yeah. Goodbye Shulk and now percentages are worlds apart but at least the stocks are even and if Visel gets a few good enough hits then he can bring this back, even though now he is, of course, down a stock. But that's not going to matter necessarily if he can get some momentum going here. 
I feel like Logarth's just been in control this entire set, but Visal has never been too far behind. I feel like, again, these two are pretty evenly matched for the most part. Logarth is just winning in all the small moments where it matters. All right, so improvement, another very smart high recovery, finally respecting the aggressive air slash. So he's definitely making some of these necessary adaptations, but it's going to be interesting to see if he can bring this closer, or is this going to spell the end of Visel's winner's bracket life here at Hat? Okay, so Visel's really opting for these high recoveries, and so far they've been going unpunished by Logarth. I'm curious to see if Logarth will be able to adapt to that, or if he's even All going right. to need to. Looks like I'm joined by another commentator here. Oh my god, what, why, why is this so flimsy? Why why is Logarth not that flimsy? But, it, but uh, okay, hold up. This is this is a situation where like you need to be careful. Uh, you need to be careful how you recover and how you commit. Don't commit with that far tone, man, because that that's the problem. It's like when you think you're safe, man. Shulk never lets you feel safe. And that center stage forward smash. That's gonna be a 2-0 from Logarth. A double two stuck. Again, man, he would punish the hell out of that. Yeah, he really did. And I feel like that whole set, Visal did not play too bad. It's just, again, Logarth just kept getting the edge in neutral, and he just had a more solid advantage state and was able to stuff out a lot of Visal's approaches.